Hello and welcome back to another episode of Castle Smashers. Um, <clears throat> this is me, of course, Trent Bell. Trent, uh, I don't know if I've... Yeah, uh, but, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, okay, this is Castle Smashers. We're back with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Episode 20. So, the last time... <clears throat> from the last episode, I guess. Um, I got Fiori's Wind... Have I still got it? Yes, I've still got it. Alright, now I was going to... <clears throat> oh, I just had lunch, so I'm uh, clearing my throat a little bit here. Um, first, let's go to... Temple of Time, right A down. <clears throat> Alright, so i got the Fiore's Wind, whatever you call it. <clears throat> which creates a... Oh, okay, that doesn't bring me to the... Uh... <laughs> that doesn't bring me to the Temple of Time. It's that one. Up, right, up. Right, left, up. So, up, right, up. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, let me try this for the third time. So, last episode I got the uh, Fiori's Wind, or whatever you call it, uh, which creates a checkpoint for Link. So, <clears throat> the thing I was struggling with last time was in the Shadow Temple, and there was like a wall that would enclose, like two walls that would close in on Link to, uh, I guess, squish him. So, I think... I hope this is, uh, yeah, I hope this is what I have to do, but um, I'm thinking I need to use that checkpoint <clears throat> magic to checkpoint myself in a certain spot as soon as I walk in the room and then use it again when the wall's just about to uh, eat me alive so I can warp behind the wall, I guess. I'm hoping I'm right, because that's the only idea I've really got at the moment. So, if that falls through, <clears throat> I might have to look up a, a walkthrough. Uh, left, right, right, A. So, left, right, right, A. Wait. Left, right, right, A. Yep. So, this will take me to the Shadow Temple. <clears throat> so, yeah, if this, if this plan fails that I've got here... Um, then <clears throat> I might have to, uh, <laughs> look up a game guide while, while I'm playing, which I don't really like to do, because then Link will just be standing there <clears throat> on his own. Link will be standing there on his own with me just looking at my phone, rather than anyone watching or myself being entertained by the gameplay. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I remember how to get to get to this area. Because, to be honest, it's been... Oh yes, I need to put my shoes on. Link needs to put his shoes on. <clears throat> yeah, it's... I can't remember, it's been a few weeks or something. Something like that. <clears throat> right, I think I go to the left. Uh, yep, correct, to the left. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been a few weeks since I did a, my last recording. Recording of Ocarina of Time. <clears throat> I've done a few uh, little little Castle Smasher, Smasher episodes in the meantime, but uh, in terms of this this full Smash, I haven't done one in, a, in two, three weeks or so. <clears throat> so I guess my, uh, my memory's a little bit a little bit hazy of uh, sort of where I need to go or what I've done or what not, but uh, we'll see how I go and hopefully I'm not <clears throat> not stopping and starting and 
and wondering what to do and and whatnot. I do remember that these uh these skeleton guys drop down from I think they drop down from the ceiling. Try and attack me on this weird weird boat that bobs up and down. <clears throat> Yep, they do drop from the ceiling. And I don't even think I need to fight these guys either. I'll just keep running around them. Think you can attack me, eh? Yeah, oh, actually, no, you can. Maybe I should just stand in the same spot. <clears throat> and imagine if the, uh, the Hylian shield uh, broke. <laughs> I mean, I guess in, uh, <clears throat> in Breath of the Wild it would. <coughs> oh, excuse my, um, like I said earlier on the episode, forget. Excuse my coughing, that's, uh, that's because I've just had a, a meal for lunch. Let's make my way down here. I had some, uh, sausages, vegetables, and some potatoes. Ah, I remember this area. I remember this area well. Yeah, I forget which room I need to actually go to, though. Whoa! Okay. Is it this one? No, it's not. I've already done what I need to do in there. <clears throat> Let's just try and dodge these guys as best as I can. Alright, I got a feeling it's this one. And if it is, then I need to equip, equip this. Okay, let's hope this does the trick. Ugh, use it. Might have took a little bit of damage there, but it's all for the greater good. Oh, okay, so it's... <laughs> So it's literally just a checkpoint to go back to the room. It's not a checkpoint to go to that particular spot. Gas fairies win. Return to the warp point. Alright, let's see what this does. Alright, yeah. So it literally just warps me to the room. Alright, well there goes my idea. That was very short-lived. What am I about? Ten minutes or so into this episode? <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna waste any time here. I'm going to literally get on my phone and talk to keep to keep anyone entertained, I guess. Talk to keep anyone entertained. And see if I can find my solution here. So Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, <clears throat> uh, uh, Shadow Temple Closing, Closing Walls Puzzle. I hope I entered that good. Uh, how do I get the boss key in the Shadow Temple? Okay, that, that's... I can see the chest for it, but I don't know how to get it. Okay. Um, uh, Rhythm of Maze of Walls. All right, so it says you can burn down the burn down the walls. Okay, I actually thought that I tried that. I honestly thought that I tried that, like, a hundred percent. Let's give it a go. Let's try and burn both of them at the same time. Because I, I swear I used the fire... I swear I used the fire, I used fire arrows, I, I thought I could burn these walls down, so... I mean, let's, let's just use it now. If it does it, then... I'm definitely... Oh, come on. 
Oh, okay. I'm happy. I'm happy that I've got some progression here. Like, very happy. But I am. I think I'm actually going to go through like one of my previous two episodes or whatever and check to see if I've actually uh, to check to see if I actually did that. Like, because I I'm about ninety eight percent sure that I used flame arrows and the uh, and Din's fire, so... Oh, I mean, if I haven't, then I mean, it just goes to show that it's always, uh... It's always the first place you should look. So... Hopefully I can... I, I'm pretty sure I'll get to the boss. I'm 100% sure that I'll, I'll get to the boss here. <laughs> Alright, boss key. And I do have a, a little key as well, so... Just to uh, be sure, I'll go to my map here. Alright, so I do need to get over that chasm there. So that's the only place I can go. That chasm. And I think the Lens of Truth is probably going to get me there. Even though, last time I used it, it didn't look like there was any path. So let's just... Let's just go to where I need to go. And... And make my way from there. <clears throat> oh, I can't. I, <laughs> I can't believe that. Like, I'm glad I don't have any kind of um. Oh, is there any uh anything I can do here to reveal a path? Oh, so there's no path. I can't get up on top of here. I don't think I can grab onto any, uh... There's nothing I can grab onto, is there? No. Alright. Okay. So how do I get over there? <clears throat> I'm gonna have a quick look around. Any hearts from here? Just some arrows. Um, there's nothing on this side, is there? No. And the ship comes and sinks. His heart's up there. Oh, I bet you I'll have to use my hook shot to grab onto uh, the beak or something. Can I grab onto this thing? No. No, I cannot. And this is not... That's not from the boat. I think this is always there. So can I jump up? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, is this going to be a cop-out thing? Ah, I can't... <laughs> I can't use the C-stick on this GameCube controller very, very well. Alright, now will the Scarecrow... Pierre... Yeah, he does pop up there. So... You technically do... I mean, I, I guess you can't get over here without him, so... Thank you very much. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, my... I, I will blame that one on the controller. Like, I say this nearly every episode, but the controller does spaz out on me. Every now and again. So... Alright, I, I, I grabbed onto him, I jumped off the edge, and then the controller just started going... Bleh, 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 bleh. And... Sorry for those uh, sound effects as well, but uh, <clears throat> I went to jump off the edge and he just didn't, didn't go where I wanted him to go. At least I can grab this thing. Yeah. What have we got here? Arrows. I do have a... Uh... Oh, no, I don't have a fairy. Okay. <laughs> I'll see. That would be quite nice going into this boss with a fairy, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if it's just my, my emulator or whatever, but that looks like a, uh, a crack in the wall, so... Let's set off a chain reaction. Oh, not a chain reaction, I'll just do this. That should explode. Yes! Ah, oh, I see. Well, now I can get to the other side! And I don't need to call the Scarecrow. Splendid. Splendito. Ah. Oh. Actually, I didn't really need to use the Scarecrow to get over here. 
I think I could have just shot a, a fire arrow at these bombs, which would have exploded that, so... Why am I... Like, I'm just figuring everything out right now. Like, literally right now. Ugh. Okay, so there's the boss door. I've got a full episode to, to try and beat him, I guess, so... So, I've got a feeling I'm going to need these shoes to get past get past this box. And I'm going to need the, uh... I'm going to need the, um... <clears throat> the Lens of Truth. So... I will save progress. Good old saving progress. Uh... Oh, I don't know what to expect here, but here we go. I said the other... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. I took my hand off the controller. There might have been some sort of, like, bonus up there, so... Oh, well, doesn't matter, right? I'm probably not going to beat the, uh, the boss straight away, so... Oh, no. He's like the hands from... <laughs> from Super Mario 64. Yeah, it's literally the uh, Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Dongo. No, oh, so he's playing the bongos, okay. Alright, what do I need to do here? Alright, let's just keep... Let's keep, keep on it. Alright, now he's going to clap. And I think the, uh, I think the boots are actually saving me from... Do I need to attack the other one while the other one's coming at me or something? Ouch. Oh, no, 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 no! Ooh. Alright, I think i got to keep moving. Alright, the one on the right... No, the one on the left's going to attack me. Can I attack this guy? Yes, I can. Alright, so I can... Make him turn blue. Oh, as if that hit me. So I don't know what turning him blue would actually do. That probably turns him blue as well, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. Lens of Truth. Time. The guy's hidden. And I'm going to lose all my health. Oh, so they, he damages you. And then you get damaged when you're under there as well. So... Oh, damn it. Okay. I, I think you need to make both of them... Make him shake his hands two times. And then probably shoot an arrow at his eye when it opens up. So... Uh, ooh, I think I think I will switch to arrows. Okay. So get out of that guy's way. Okay, they get out of the way when they're doing doing their bongos. All right, let's attack you. Let's attack you. Okay, and attack you as in Link. <laughs> Alright, the troubling bit here is, I think when I resume... When I resume, I'm only going to have three health. Three hearts, so... Yeah, three hearts, okay. <laughs> hmm. So now I need to go through and try and find uh, some heart, cont heart boxes. Sorry, not... Heart boxes are uh, just hearts. Oi, oi, oi. I mean, I, I could have, I could, could technically use save state since I'm using like an emulator here, but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to try and do this legitimately. Legit. Oh, I doubt there's any hearts in here. I guess I get, I get some hearts when I, um, 
when I go to the to the door before the last key door, so that's something. How many hearts is that? I think it was two, three, three hearts, which would give me three, six hearts. There's nothing here. Oh, actually no, there's some hearts up here as well, so. I'm just trying to think, like, these are... These are hearts that are guaranteed to be there as well, so... So, I just need to keep my wits about me in the, uh, in the boss fight. I know, I know in general what I have to do, I think, now, so... Yeah, so, going over it again, I think I just need to, um... Attack both of the, uh... Attack both of the hands, so he starts sort of shaking his hands. And then I saw the the eye, his main eye was closed. Uh, uh, just slipping all over the place. Uh, no. I might have made that. Oh, no. Yeah, his eye was closed, so I think I need to use the lens of truth to lock onto him while he's shaking his hands, and then um, and then uh, I'll shoot him in the eye with an arrow, I guess. So I can get those two hearts there, and then I think three, so five, eight. So I think I can have. I think I can verse the boss each time with at least eight hearts to begin with, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad. If I don't, if he slaps me, I think I don't lose too much health, or like punches me or something. But I think if um, well, he took off a whole heart, so that didn't help. I wonder if I actually can get. I wonder if I can actually get a heart off these guys. I might as well try since I've actually lost a heart, so... Okay... It'd be nice if it just started you outside of the, um... No, just arrows. It'd be nice if... Oh, actually, no, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm actually going to get that guy. Let's try some hearts here. No. No, none there. Let's go up here. <coughs> I'll grab onto him again. Oh, actually, the heart's up there. No, I could only collect them once. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. So, four hearts. I need more. Trouble is, like, I don't, I don't want to go through the entire dungeon all over again just to try and get hearts. It just... It just doesn't... It doesn't... Doesn't sit well with me that uh, I would need to do that. Alright, I, 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 like, I want to beat this boss in this episode. I've got, looking at my timer, about 30, 35 or so minutes left. If, if worse comes to worse and I don't beat the boss in this episode, I think I might actually look up a guide to see if I can, um... To see if I can, uh... Let's get over there. To see if I can, um... There's nothing over here, is there? No, it's just another spot there. Alright, yeah, but I keep getting distracted halfway through my sentences. So, yeah, I might look up a guide next episode if I can't beat this boss. Yeah, there we go. Now, is there anything up here? No hearts or anything? Nothing around this room? No, okay. Okay, that, that's all I need to know. So I'll look up a guide. Look up a guide next episode and uh, see if I can actually find. I'll locate some more um, uh, milk bottles so I can hold more fairies. All right, let's use this on. Maybe I need to use my arrows. Oh, no, it's actually, it's quite hard to, uh... Alright, that's one. 
Oh, no! How do I get both of them at the same time? Alright, so he shakes his hand quite a bit. Alright, one. Let's get him this time. Two. Where is he? No! Ah. Oh. Okay, so... Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I'm not going to have um, too many... Too many chances to get damaged, I guess. The fact that it brings me all the way back to the start here as well is just annoying. Annoying. Mm, might actually be able to put away my um. Trouble like I always need to have my ocarina out. There's there's more items that I need compared to the C buttons on the screen, so. Got it. Switch to the menu every now and again. Oh well. So he charges at me. And when he's charging at me, that's when I hit the eye. I thought that he just gets... I thought that he just gets stunned in a stationary position and then I can just hit him with a, an arrow or something. But I guess that's not the case. Gotta be very quick, I guess. Very quick. And those hearts are missing because I think I think those hearts were just there because I literally restarted the game from scratch. Alright, so I don't necessarily need my um, hook shot. So I'll replace the hook shot for I'll put that there. Now we my fire arrows there. Because I might still need my fire arrows. Oh, difficulty's just ramped up a bit. I mean, it is the uh, second last temple, or third last temple if you uh, include Ganon's, Ganon's castle, Ganondorf's castle. Which, again, like I've, I've no idea if that's like a temple with a whole bunch of puzzles and stuff inside it. I assume. I assume it would be because it's a castle. It's a, it's a full castle. So, castle, castle, whatever. All right, now I don't want to get hit by this guy because I've only got three hearts. So pretty much, I need to beat this boss without losing any health, which I don't think is going to be possible for <laughs> for my skill level. But we'll see how we go. Might be a might not be a very entertaining entertaining episode to watch by the least, but who knows? Maybe I could pull off something very miraculous here and and defeat him defeat him within this hour or so. So all you can do is pray for me and uh, see what happens. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Let's make my way down here. Nothing here. No. Okay. So, all right. So I've exhausted my heart options. I can only really um. I can only really do this boss with three hearts. So, good luck to me. I doubt I'm going to be able to use my shield when it uh, does like a slap or something to me. Ugh. So yeah, it's got its eyes closed. Let's attack that hand. Attack that hand. Where's he going to end up? So... Got him. No, now I'm stuck under the geometry. Okay, now he's going to do something different. He's going to do something. So, that first one I can clearly do. That's okay. Alright, he's going to clap together. That's alright. Where are you? Ah, 
I hate that I just automatically lock on. Does he open his eye every time he does an attack? No. Alright, that's one, two. Alright, where are you? Oh, okay, so. <laughs> So I need to be very precise with hitting him in the hitting him in the eye. His eye hole. Uh, all right. I'm I'm happy. I at least got one hit. One hit on him, I guess. Uh, glad I don't need to use the uh, hook shot to get past there. Yeah, it's just um. Yeah, it's just annoying that I don't start. Sort of, I guess, in front of the, um, in front of the boss door, so. Gotta be absolutely perfect. Perfect. Test my gamer skills. I wonder if anyone out there's done, like, a Legend of Zelda run where, like, they just haven't got damaged. No, a no damage run of Ocarina of Time. I don't think I'd have the patience to uh, watch through that, let alone um, <laughs> watch through all of my uh, my playthrough of this. Like, I think I said right at the start that this game was going to be like a was going to be about twenty six hours. Well, the how long to beat dot com mentions that to, just to finish the the main game without getting all the collectibles and everything is around 26 hours so this is episode win 20 the big the big 2-0 so I don't think I'm gonna beat it in six more episodes after this because hope I might be able to get to the next temple straight away because I got the lens of truth no 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 lock onto him lock on don't want to have less oh but then again if I get, if I get hit once by the boss like I'll die anyway so so it doesn't matter if I lose one damage from this guy. But yeah, I think when I was in the Gerudo Desert, uh, I could have literally got to the... Ah, uh, not really, I think... I, I, I can get to the temple now because i got the uh, the boots where I think I can start hovering over the... Um, start hovering over the quicksand. But... Um, now, I've got the Lens of Truth as well, so I can see the correct path to, to go. Um, are you going to attack me? Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, so I know the correct way to go in the desert, so Link won't get uh, lost, if you can call it that. Um, so I might, I might actually be able to get to the temple pretty quickly. Um, and start that fairly quickly as well. But no, no. Oh, at least I start from the, uh, the start here. I just have to put up with the uh, beep 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 beep. And who knows how many episodes the uh, the next temple, the um, what is it, the uh, the spirit temple? Who knows how long that's going to take. Like, I, rem I remember in my earlier episodes, I'd get to a, a temple and I'd just finish it in, like, one episode. Oh, no. Didn't see that one coming. Just need to keep running. Oh, that fast one gets me. Yeah, I think uh, I think having some fairies will will help. Actually, you know what? I've got twenty five minutes left. I'm actually going to look up <laughs> look up a guide now on actually where to get those um, milk bottles because I think I really I really need those extra fairies at the moment. Um, so, ocarina. Of time, uh, bottle locations. Because I really, really need bottles. Four bottles can be collected, obtained from Cuckoo Lady, 
We're bringing all our cuckoos back to the pen. Found underwater at Lake Hylia near the shortcut to Zora's Domain. Uh, Alright, so there's only four. Uh, so I won't grab that one. Lake Hylia I've done. Alright, so I need to go to Lon Lon Ranch as Young Link. Okay, so I can get one, one more I guess. So, let's go to, let's go to the Lon Lon, oh no, go to the Temple of Time first. Let's see if I remember the... I think that's the Temple of Time. No, it's the Song of Time. Uh, doo -doo 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 temple of Time. All right, so up right, up right, left up, up right, up right, left up, up right. Yep. So Child Link, and then I need to go to the Lon Lon Ranch. Um. I mean, I could, I could try and get another bottle. I just need to return all the cuckoos to that lady as uh, as little Link, little Link, and she'll give me a bottle as well. So I might be able to get three, and then I need to look up where one of these fairy fountains is because I forget, I forgot as well. I forgot where one of those are. Now the trouble is, if I die, all right, if I get two more of these bottles. And I die three, no, technically four times. If I die four times in my next playthrough, oh, sorry, my next playthrough with the boss, uh, then I'll need to go back to a fairy fountain to, I guess, fill up all the uh, the bottles with fairies again. So, um, yes. So one bottle from Lon Lon Ranch, one from Kakariko Village, both as Young Link, and I could I could get another one as Adult Link, which I think it said something about uh, collecting the spirits of ghosts, and then bringing it back to the um, spirit lady who's technically just in this door right here um, as Adult Link, and she'll probably give you some sort of bottle or whatever, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, let's go do this one first. So I might try and get these two bottles first for the rest of this episode. If Ooh, who's that? I saw something over there. What was this? Oh, this guy's running. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what this guy has to say. Maybe you'll give me something. Who knows? Oh, that's the guy that you race as Adult Link. All right, let's just give him a give him a chat. Can I chat to him? Oh no. Okay. I'm just wasting time now. Let's get to Lon Lon Ranch, and I need to speak to Talon. Which is Melon's father. I think it was Melon. I've forgotten that was a that was a while ago that name. Roll Link Roll. I probably should have done this done this a bit earlier in the game. Give me hearts from here. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all right. I'll fill them up. So Talon is in here, if memory serves from last times. Okay, yep, yeah. so let's play the chicken game. Oh, I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. Took me, took some doing, but I finally got Malon back in a good mood. 
<laughs> so he, he mentions the other day, that was like episode 2 for me. <laughs> so what are you up to today? You got some free time on your hands? Well, how about a little game? Yes, I will play your little game. These three cuckoos, I have here are super, special super cuckoos. Going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you could pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. <laughs> There'll be 10 rupees on a play. Okay. <laughs> I've got 500 rupees, so we get 50 turns at this. If I can't beat this in 50 turns. Alright, where are they? Not that one. Alright, got the first one. Oh, I don't get much time. I don't know if there's some special... I don't know if I can like chuck them in a safe spot or something. Alright, two. Alright, I'm going to be very lucky here. Oh, I'm very, very lucky. First go. I don't know if there's any difference between the look of them. You've got talent, you want to be world one of the best cowboys. Would you like to marry Melon? Uh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I'm proud to present you with a sample of our Lon Lon milk. Alright, so that'll give me a bottle. Yep, yep. I've drank milk before. Okay. So I've got two bottles now. Two out of four. Let's just use this milk up while I'm at it. Use up the rest of it. Alright. Now on to Kakariko Village I go. More continues I can have after dying, the better. Let's switch back to my boomerang. Okay, let's go... Over here, I think. Start your side jumping, Link. It is a bit refreshing uh, seeing young Link again. Probably done the majority of my episodes as a adult link, I reckon, so. Hey, listen! Ooh, okay, I don't shouldn't be going in the water there. No. Why am I saying that for? I don't don't need to go into the Hyrule Castle town at all. I need to be going here. But I need to be going here during the daytime or else Miss the lady won't be there. So, Song of Time. That's that's the one song I can remember, as well as um, Zelda's Lullaby. Alright, where are you? Did time speed up? Maybe I need to play the Sun Song. That sounds like a good idea. Sun song, okay, right down up. See you later, skeletons. That's one way to get rid of them. Okay, so I remember it was that last. I remember it was that last cuckoo that I had trouble with. Now, let's see if I've actually... So I have I have rescued all the others. There's just one more to go, I think. There's a few in the pen. What does she say? My cuckoos have run away. Please help bring them the other three. Okay. Where are the other three? I know there's one behind there. I don't know how to get to there though. Do I have any items that can help me get over there? 
no, I don't think so. Can't blow up something, can I? There we go, so I can break that at least. How do I get through there? I thought I only had one to go. I didn't know there was three. Ah, oh, there's actually one in the box. I had a feeling I could hear like a... Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't really want to go in here. No bonuses in here? No. Nothing at all. I, I really want to collect these cuckoos before, uh, before the episode's over. Because I don't really want, to, want it to go too much into the next one. But then again, like, I've got, <laughs> got plenty of time if it, if it takes me a little while to, to beat this game, then so be it. Like, I'm not, I'm not a super fast speedrun or anything. You know what, I'm actually going to go to here. There might actually be a... Is there a cuckoo in here? No. I'm wondering if there's actually a cuckoo in the graveyard. I'd be able to hear it if that's the case, but let's go into the gravekeeper's uh, hut. Might be a bonus, something in here. Oh, okay, I can't go in there. Hmm. And there's a lot of bonuses if I. No, I can only move those at night time as well. I think so. I don't think there'll be any cuckoos in here. I mean, I haven't really gone in this in this area really too much because I haven't needed to story-wise. But there's, I mean, there's no bottles there anyway, so and no cuckoos. So, so two more to go. There's none in there. I need to... How do I get up? I need to get up there, but as young Link. Like, I can get over there with adult Link. I'm going to have to go through that door or something. Mm. I can't go upstairs on this building, can I? There's not an upstairs... I don't think. Uh, no. I think I have to go up the stairs to find a second second floor. Nothing in here is there. No. See, how, how do I get... Oh, I know. I do have a lens of truth, maybe it might reveal something that I could not particularly see. Um, I don't think I can jump off from up here either. Actually, I don't even know if I'd make it if I jumped off of here. Probably not. So, there's a cuckoo in there. I reckon there's a cuckoo behind the... Behind there as well. Okay, so... Let's see what this guy has to say. Maybe I can talk to him. Yeah, I can't even jump off here anyway. Let's talk to him and see what he says. If I can actually chat to him. Oh, speak. Can I get down? So all I can do is look at Death Mountain. Okay, that, that didn't help me at all. Now, yeah, as young Link, going in here, I couldn't get to the, I couldn't get behind because there was a guy standing there. What do you have to say? Job where you can make a lot of money without much effort. 
The only thing I can think of is thievery. Is that a bad idea? How, how do I get past him? No. Because there's a door on the other side of this building. Like, this is a tough one. How, how do I get behind this, this gate? I highly doubt the Lens of Truth is actually going to reveal anything around here. Oh, there was one. There was one up there. I saw one on the edge. Link doesn't know any songs, does he? He's got no items where he can float or do this or that. Bombs. Lullaby, Sarah's song, Sun song. I can't get to the top of the. I mean, if I could get to the top of the windmill. If I could get to the top of the windmill without actually. Um... Oh, I can't move this box, can I? I don't think so. No, you can only uh, jump up. Ooh. It's frustrating, and probably frustrating for anyone else who's watching as well. Alright, I don't think there's any way for me to actually get up there. I think once you're down here, that's it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, how, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? I can't jump, because Link can't jump that far. He doesn't have the hook shot, so he can't grab onto anything. Um, so I can't get through that door because that idiot guy is standing there. I don't think precise jumping from here is going to help. <sighs> maybe it will, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll sit and spend the next three goes trying to do that. Go on this pixel perfect. Pixel perfect, um. Uh, fence to try and jump over. Nah, nah, there's, there's no way I'm gonna do that. Oh, here I am supposed to be beating that, that giant boss. Supposed to be beating that giant boss. But all I'm doing is trying to find these these little cuckoos. I don't think I've got any more skull towers. I don't think that'll help. One, two, three. Yeah, you're the only guys I've rescued. Hmm. I wonder if I can use the lens of truth in the in the house, maybe? One of the houses? I don't know, it just doesn't feel right that I would have to use an item that I get... No, I can't even use the Lens of Truth on the, on the inside of buildings. Uh, I don't see any other way to get around. It's always leading me back up here. can't hug the wall, because that literally ends just there. There's no way I can get on the roof there, I don't think. No, I can't get on the roof up there. I don't think I've ever broken these pots before. No, just help for rupees. Rupees. Oh, this is, uh, it's really tough. Tough, tough, tough. Tuffity, tough, tough, tough. Uh, oh boy, I can't climb anything. Uh, 
in. I don't, I don't think my boomerang is going to do anything. That's, that's not like the hook shot at all. Uh, hook shot, slingshot, Deku seed, no. The only thing I can think of is trying to explode, explode these with bombs. Try and get through with bombs somehow, but I don't think that's going to work either. Like, normally there's like a crack in the wall when you can blow something up. So, so no, I don't, don't think I can do that. Uh, uh, this is so lame. <laughs> that can't be exploded, can it? No, that, that window sort of is clipping off of the, uh, of the building. Um, yeah, there's no way I can use bombs in here. And there's, that's, this is the only entrance to get behind him as well. And I can't use any other items in here, I don't think. I don't know how to get you out of the way. Um. Um. A lot of boys in here right now. I think we went to play in the graveyard. There's only two, like... There's no secret here, is there? Like, I don't have to explode a wall. Let's try this side now. No, okay. I'm just wasting bombs now. Even I could probably get it back pretty quickly, so... Ooh dee doo dee doo Let's go back up here. Where is the end? to get to that cuckoo I just don't know mm -hmm. uh, I mean the only other thing I can think of is can I get up there somehow first which Which makes me, like, I can't move that box so I can climb up. I can't get on that roof. Jump across. I don't think I need another cuckoo. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, or do I? Or do I? Let's grab one of these cuckoos in the pen, and I'll see if I can... I'm pulling at straws here, but um, I think that's the way the saying goes. Pulling at straws. <laughs> this is all I can think of right now. I'll grab this guy and try and float over. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it though. Oh, okay, yes, I can do it. Yes, yes. Yes! Yes! This is amazing. I'm... <laughs> I'm actually very excited I could do that. Who would have thought that I have to rescue one of the... Ah, damn it. Who would have thought that I would have to rescue one of the cuckoos and then end up taking it back out of the pen? Like... <laughs> so now I can get up here. And grab the last one, and then I am A-OK, -okay, all good to go. And that's good, because the episode's just about to wrap up as well, so... So I'm going to grab this guy. Fly down here. Release him into there. 
Ooh, I think I can get over there somehow as well, but I'll leave that for another time. And these guys just stay exactly where I want them to stay. Yeah, I'm sure I can get in there somehow, that little door above the, uh, the chicken coop, but I don't think there'll be anything really important in there as of now, so... Let's grab you. Put you in your pen. Let's grab my reward. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Ugh, good for you. Help me, I will give you this to you. Uh, I'll give this to you. It's fine glass. You should be able to find it useful. Yes, empty bottle. So, three bottles. Okay, Link, you did you did a good deed. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the edge of here just to look at your handiwork. All right, so that'll be the end of episode twenty. I'll uh, look up where I need to go next to get some fairies to fill up those bottles, and then I'll head straight for the uh, for the Shadow Shadow Temple boss with uh, lots of hearts, lots of continues, and lots of energy. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.